Hello, this is Karen with Zana Demuse. Welcome to my channel. I am glad you're here. I am glad I could be bringing you this little video. Well, actually, it's a kind of lengthy video, and I apologize for that. I have a real bad coloring book addiction. Yes, I do, and I want to share my coloring book addiction with you guys. So, if you like a few of the books, you might run out to your store, pick them up, or if you would like me to do a um, closer flip over, because I didn't flip through them all, like the Dollar Tree books, didn't flip through them, because they're so readily available for most people. I know not everybody can get Dollar Tree books, but if you want me to do a flip through through any of the books that I show, please leave your request in the comment section below, and I'll be glad to do an individual one at any time. Like I said, I do have quite a big selection of books and coloring materials. Most of the coloring materials I've already had, and I just moved them to put them together to make a little coloring corner, so to speak. And that is what I'm going to share with you today. I do mention quite often about a giveaway. This giveaway has not been posted yet because I am relatively new in the YouTube world. I've been on YouTube for a while, but I haven't been making videos, and I do not have a very large amount of followers or subscribers, which is fine. But when I get a certain number, I would like to... um. Thank you guys by having a giveaway, and it's going to be a little while because, like I said, I don't have a large amount. But I do, I think I do have a pretty nice giveaway starting to collect, and so please share, subscribe, and um, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. If you have any tips and tricks, you can always leave them in the comments below because I'm always willing and would be grateful for any additional tips. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. I'm going to tell you it's going to be in two parts. Part 1 is going to be my coloring book material, my I'm sorry, my coloring materials. Part 2 is going to be the actual books. And this is my pre-shower look and I was hot and I'm hot and I'm just a hot mess and please excuse the nice big zit on the side of my face. I'm 47 years old, and I just, I just took my hand and covered my face like you guys could see me. <laughs> and I still get zits. And like grand, and I got my hands up like you guys can see me, and like grand. Well, anyway, without further ado, let's get it, jump into the video. Here is my coloring book corner. I'm going to stop you guys now and put you on landscape, because you're on portrait right now. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to slowly pan down and let you guys get a glimpse on what's on the shelves. That's the very tippy top shelf, the first shelf, second shelf, and the bottom shelf. Now on the floor is this box. That box actually came from Haiti. And this plastic box, which does not belong in this corner, but I put it here just to show you how many crayons I have. It is embarrassing. And then those two, I'm sorry, those four colorful bins are filled with coloring supplies. I'm first going to go over the coloring supplies and then I will go over the coloring books I have. So let's do the coloring supplies now. And I'll start with um, these bins with the markers. And these bins are my alcohol markers. I've got the Sharpies and the Bigs, and I think I've got some Dollar Tree brand in here. Pull it out, and you can see they are just filled with all kinds of economical alcohol markers. The next one is another bin of alcohol markers, and that's my kitty meowing. And the, these two bins are my more expensive markers. I take that back. This bin is not. These are my Crayola markers. Excuse me while I chase the cat off. You can see this is well used. Ah, it's not even open. 
These are my Crayolas and generic watercolor markers. The next bin is my more expensive markers. And it has the Prisma Color. These are actually rather old. It's got the pit markers, but they lasted pretty long for being so old. The Copic. And I think that's it. Here's another type of pit marker. The smaller ones. I've got the fat ones. Oh, and the Primo markers. So I've got a nice selection of those in here. And it's always best to um, store your markers, especially your dull tip markers, on its side. I'll put that back. And we'll go over to what's on the floor. In the Haiti box, if you open it up, oh, if I can try to open it up, there's some of what I call my overflow crowns, crayons. And hold on a second. Come on. This box I've had for ages and I'll never use it. If I can set, like it says, it's the collector's edition. Let's see if I can open it up. And inside is. The retired crayons, I think in 19, I think they brought it back in 1990, 1991, I can't remember. 1990, these crowns were retired, and they brought them back. It doesn't have the year on it. So in the crowns that were retired, retired were the orange, yellow, raw, umber, green, blue, the maize, the blue, gray, orange, red, violet, blue, and lemon, yellow. And actually, the orange, yellow, violet, blue, and green blue were three of my favorites so i keep that together and then i got another set of crayons it's a full set but the box kind of got wonky then i got the twistables i got two sets of those a 24 and this is the regular ones and another 24 and this is the mixed and the neons and all kinds of fun. And this was on clearance at Target, and black is my favorite non color, so I got these. And so I put that back in. And these are my I can destroy crowns. Yep, most of these are all Crayola except for this box right here. I weeded out all the, the junk crowns. And let's go to the top of the bookshelf and work our way down. On the top of the bookshelf, surprise, surprise, there's another set of crayons. This is this is my favorite caddy, actually, and they don't make it anymore. And when we get to the bottom, you'll see what they replaced it with. And there's a pencil sharpener on top. And you could kind of get all kinds of different colors. I think it was 100, 150? I don't remember. Shelf. First shelf, rather. This is my favorite, 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 favorite bin right here. And this is the Prisma color box. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to pause you and take it out. All right, here's a top shot of it. It's just, it's several different sets of Prisma colors over the years. Plus, it's got my Intense pencils. And I'll show you an Intense pencil. Looks like that's the Intense. And this is the Prisma. This is the newer, newer Prisma. And I've got some older ones. Here's what the older ones will look like. The older ones are the better ones, I have to say. There, there's probably four sets combined in here. And of course I do got duplicates. And some I love more than others. Like here's a, one I've used quite a bit. And then I got some blending tools and some erasers and some Sharpie pens. And I've seen YouTube videos where they use this for blending. I haven't really delved into that yet but I bought some just just to experiment with it later these are my Prisma sticks and in here is Dollar Tree people may recognize this this is odorless mineral spirits you know what I think this is evaporating I am pretty sure this was full so you think that wouldn't evaporate I have to now I'm gonna mark that and see if it does evaporate because then it, it can only be stored in one container its original container and then I got some blending stems and some paint brushes and that's about it for that box and this box is very I like this box because you can move it the pencils used to be in a box like this and this came from Jerry Artorama but 
Now I can pull my dies. Unfortunately, it took about three of these. So if I wanted to take all my pencils into another room, I'd have to take three boxes. So that's one, two, three with me. That's a lot of boxes, but I can take this and don't have to carry all those boxes. The next thing on that shelf, I'm going to pause you for a second. The next thing on the shelf is this pre-purposed art box. The hinge is coming off, so I have to be a little bit careful with it. I'm going to have to fix it. If you open it up, these are my um, travel pencils. I do not travel with those Prismas because they are very delicate. These are the Marco Refines. These are Prisma in the center, but they're the Scholar Prisma, which means they are the student quality. And these are the another set of pencils I had for ages. They're at Derwent Cumberland. What is it? Um, Derwent Studio. The Rexel Cumberland Derwent Studio pencil. I've had these probably since 1990, 1989. And I'm just beginning to use them. Oh, this bag is preventing it from closing. So I'm going to pause you and put this back set up back together. In the corner is just some bags. I think this is actually a cosmetic bag I got at Target. And a pen pencil pouch. And when I want to just carry a certain brand of pencils from here, I'll put them in he here and I'll carry them in my coloring bag. In this tin, which really doesn't belong here, but I threw it in here anyway, are my watercolor pencils. I don't plan on using watercolor in my coloring book activities and if I do I probably will use the ink pens which are these that I've already showed you and in, he, in this little cosmetic men's thing I think it's a men's um, travel bag are my gel pens and they're just filled with gel pens all different collected from over the years I'm gonna pause you for, and zip it up and put it back together Okay, missing from the last shot of this screen was these two boxes. These are my Crayola 50 pack. I have um, packing tape over it, so the box is a little bit more sturdy. And I do have a headband like I'm going to show you with the Crazy Art. The Crazy Art 72 pack, also package taped, so they're in um, the box is sturdier. I am um, package taped. If you, you might think that the pencils will stick to the tape, but I put the tape inside first, and then I taped over it. So I put it inside backwards, and then taped a piece of, put a piece of tape over it on top. And I use these headbands to keep the pencils box closed, because you will have a hot mess if you do not do that. The second shelf is mostly books, except for this one, and this is actually for a giveaway. This is my giveaway section. And the last shelf is more, 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 more crayons. I mentioned earlier that there was a, um, that in the, the crayon tower, that they replaced it. And this is what they replaced it with. This is the one you can get today. And I, I prefer the tower. It does not, the kaleidoscope does not come up. I guess you call it kaleidoscope. I don't know. But you also have the, um, pencil the crown sharpener underneath that is my generic colored pencils and this is my second set I have two sets the other set is at work filled exactly as to the brim like this one and in fact I've had to get rid of some then over in the corner is my Tombow markers and yes you see correctly that is yet another set of crowns. And that concludes the color portion. And I'm going to stop the video and then put the dogs up and we will go over the um, coloring book selection. I forgot to share with you my newest find. I found this at Walmart and that is 30 markers. Several, several of them are re-release permit markers, and several of them are new color, electro pop. 
For 30 markers, I paid $10 for this set. And this set did not last long at Walmart. I sell it on a weekday, and by the weekend, it was gone. And these are the colors. You can see the re-release, the electro pop, and some ideas. I am a hot mess today. Please excuse me. But I'm going to go over my coloring books. These are the adults. These are the children. And I'm going to try to go over them rather quickly. And I'm going to start actually down here, which you can only see a corner of it. These are some of the bigger things that do not fit in the shelves. <clears throat> I got this calendar for my sister for Christmas. And no, I have not started coloring it. She got it for me for this page alone, the peacock. Then I got this at Target for $3. And I got it mainly for the doodling because I love to doodle. And unfortunately it got wet. And as you can see there's some water damage on it. But it's alright. It's all good. And last thing in this corner. Oh my, it's kind of bent. That's not good. Is this pad of scrapbook paper and it's all coloring. Oops, my... Please excuse my nutcrackers. And it's just those pages. I actually have two of these. I got two of these by mistake. They had packaged them together and they weren't supposed to. And they sold it to me that way, but now they are no longer packaged too. Alright, moving on to the adult ones. This is probably my second coloring book I bought. And I bought it more for the drawings so I can have inspiration because I like to draw and doodle and no I have not colored in it yet most of these I haven't I'm embarrassed to say this, this is my second one it should have been my first I hate my first one and the next book is um is this book I redid the cover I'm going to show you this one, this is going to, I'm going to show it to you again. And this is how um, the book originally looked like. I combined two of these and put it in here, but they're different themed. So I took the um, plastic spiral off. I took the back cover and made the, one of the back covers the front cover and kept this other back cover as that. And these are the two books that are in here. One is music. And there's just music pictures and all that. And the other one is kind of a gory one. On the edge, extreme, some, whatever the, whatever that says. And if you can see, you see here. Ugh. Anyway, I did color in this one. Oh, but all three of these were on clearance at Walmart for $1. I bought it for this picture alone. And I did finish this book, this page. And I like it. That alone was worth my one dollar for the gory pictures. <clears throat> I've got some of these, which these are cut down. These are um the cutting mats at the Dollar Tree. You get two for a dollar, and they're great, especially for the Dollar Tree pages, because the Dollar Tree pages are double sided and they're thin. So slap one in between your pages. And yes, you do need to have these if you're using pencil because this ink will transfer onto the next page if you press too hard. Let's see. Put the stained glass back because we're going to revisit it. The next book I got is Beautiful Creatures. And it's a boundless coloring book adventure. It's... it's um. Color over the gray to bring your image to life. So it's gray, gray, gray something. What is grayscale? Grayscale pictures, and you just color it. And of course, I got it for the peacock. Of course. The next book I got is not really an adult one, but I put it with adult ones because they cost as much as an adult. Is this Mickey Mouse coloring book, and I got it from Disney World. And I think the pictures are fabulous because, of course, there are of Mickey, Disney, and it's just a whole bunch of Disney goodness. The next one is another 
Well, it's not another. I mean, this what this is a Disney movie, but this is not from Dis the Disney movie. This is from the actual drawing of the original book, Alice Adventures in Wonderland. And this is, I have this book with the original drawings, and I think they're fabulous. I'm probably going to get a, a second one of these, one to keep and not color, and one to color, because I love it that much. I have three of these, by the way, three different versions of these. I got another Wonderland book. I kind of messed up the da dust jacket, unfortunately. This is a coloring book inspired by Alice Adventures, and it's by Emily Shen. And here's what some of the pages look like. So that's going to be fun to color in. And the third Alice in Wonderland book is Color the Classics, Alice in Wonderland. And a curiouser coloring book. And there is an a illustrator, and here is the name of the illustrator. I've got two of this person's books, and I will show you that, that book in a second. It is my favorite fairy tale ever. And here it is. Color the Classics, Beauty and the Beast, a deeply romantic coloring book. Like I said, my favorite, favorite, favorite fairy tale in the world. And one day I'm going to do a book review on my very favorite version of this book. Of this the, um, fairy tale. The next one is the book I'm working on, the page I'm working on right now. And it's Romantic Country, and it's by this person right here. And she is unique because she draws with the toothpick. Yes, you heard me right. All these pictures were drawn with ink and a toothpick. And I will show you the picture I'm working on. I just started because I just finished that other one I showed. And I drew in the, the um, stones on the um, walkway. So it's a light pale blue. Almost a gray. That's why I chose the light pale blue. And I will continue on. I am using those Derwent pencils. The ones that are discontinued. And right now I'm not liking them on this paper. It might be just a particular color I chose. I do not know. The next ones are the Dollar Tree, and we're going to look, go through those fairly quickly. I'm not going to flip through them. You already seen this one, the stained glass. We got Welcome Home. Um, color patterns. Henna coloring. And I know I'm missing three of them so far. Patterns of color. I just saw people haul them, so it's just recently that, that they came out. It was waterworks, and then there was a bird one, and I don't remember the third one. The mandala. I guess that's how you spell it. Say it. Exotic impressions. Put these down. I already got, I have two of these, but one of I actually have three copies, and I already gave one the giveaway. They don't you don't need two copies. Places to color. Take flight. Yeah, I have two copies of this, but this is actually my favorite one, favorite book. Now, I will show you why. I just absolutely love some of these. I think this is probably my favorite picture in the whole entire um, Kappa series, Dollar Tree series. There's a few other that I like. Flip through real quick. So much for being real quick, right? Here's another one. This one right here. So I'm going to be greedy and keep those two for myself. The Great Outdoors. Creative Awakening. Joy of Coloring. Nature to Color. Serenity Garden. And if you think about it, I spent a lot on Dollar Tree books. Um, let's see. Wildlife, I do have two of these, and I do not have it in give, a giveaway because I colored on both of these pages. And I colored the same picture. I colored this this, this one, which I think was Prisma Pencils. And this one, yeah, this one is regular, mixed, different brands. Um, I know this one is the Prisma because I can smell it. It's not the Prismas that I smell, it's the... um fixative spray I put on it to see if it will stop doing what it does and I'll give you an example 
of when I when I tell when I, I told you you need to have these. Okay, you see the rooster on all these lines? Well, you can see all the lines from the um, top. They transferred because I pressed so hard on this, and I even used fixative on this one. You can still smell the fixative. Continuing on with the Dollar Tree books. Oh, um, ow, my knees. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ouch, ouch. Oh, my goodness. I, um, I dropped some Dollar Tree books. Hold on. Here we go. I got the florals. These are different. These Are, are these from Capra? No, these are not. These are from the Clever Factory. So they're a little bit different quality. A little better quality. Paisley's patterns and the animals. I have two of these and one of them is in the giveaway pile. These are the best Dollar Tree giveaways and actually Five and Below sold these for $4. I got the floral with the pink. Well, it's actually more purpley lavender. Here's floral with the pink. Floral with the yellow. Floral with the green. Geometric with the green. Geometric with the purple cover. Geometric with the blue cover. And geometric with the orange. And these are by Vision Street. Dollar Tree also sells a version of these. <clears throat> and I'll show you the difference. This is the Dollar Tree version. This is the mandalas. I don't have um, the general dollar version. The de general dollar version sells the same book, but there's one major difference. And I do have, let's see, I do have the flowers and the animals in the Dollar Tree version, but it is in my um, giveaway. Okay. Here's the um, mandalas and the um, Dollar Tree version. There is the... Um, birds. I don't have that one yet. It's the first time I saw it, so I'm looking for it. <clears throat> Here's the ones that I have of both the Dollar Tree and Dollar General, and I'm giving the Dollar Tree ones away. Cats and dogs. Let's upside down. Cats and dogs. And cats and dogs. They do not look like they're the same, but the pages are exactly the same. Let me demonstrate. Page one. The difference is the page quality is cheaper. This is the Dollar Trees. And the other major difference is you can see it's one sided as opposed to double sided. Page two. And we'll just flip one more in the Dollar General version. Page three. So the exact same book. You get it has more pages, so it's thicker because it's not double-sided. The page, page quality is better, and the ink is better, and this one's by Benden. This one was $3, and this one was $1. So I think $2 is worth it. And the other two I got is the um, flowers, and they're the exact same book as I demonstrated with the animals. Okay, now we're getting to the leisure arts. I got the Easter one, and I did color a little bit in the Easter. I don't see the page. There it is. Just a little bit. I got the Sweet Wonders. I've got the Affectionate Wonders color art. I got the Animal color art. I got the Owl Wonders. I got the Living Wonders, and I think this is the one that I've colored in the most. Ow, ow, ow. Let's see, is this the one? Yep. Yeah. I did this page. It's hard to... And then I did this page. Sorry, my nutcracker. This one, I used those um, Derwent Studio pencils that I've had for ages. And then I use Tombow watercolors on these. And this is what the Tombows looked at, like on the back. So you, um, I would suggest have a piece of paper in between, just in case a small smidgen would um, bleed over. 
I got the Oreo and Oreo and oh, Ori, Oriental Wonders color up. And I've got the Nature Wonders. This is my first one, and this is my first page I attempted to do. I didn't get very far. And the last leisure art is the Tropical Wonders, and this is the last one I bought in the series. Oh my goodness. Moving on to some Dover books. These Dover books I've had for ages. I mean, super ages. These are the very old Dover books, and they're $3.97, that's how old they are. And they're very good quality. They are single, double-sided, because back then, nobody cared if... A doll coloring book wasn't the craze when I got these. So I got the Castles. The um, Indian Tribes of North America. Probably now, it would say North America. I mean, it would say um, Native American. But this is before all that hoopla. The dragons and the butterflies. Oh, sorry, the butterflies. And those are all from Dover Publishing. And here's some also from Dover Publishing. And these are from the Creative Haven. I've got the Creative Cats. I have started a page in here. And here it is. Oh. My knees are killing me. I got the Art Nouveau, Nouveau Animal Designs. Of course, the Peacock. Peacock Designs. Art Deco Fashions. Fanciful Faces. And Cityscapes. If anybody, I should have said at this, should say this at the beginning. I hadn't recorded the introduction, so I may say actually said this in the beginning. If anybody wants a um, preview, a flip through, one on one on these books, I'll be happy to do it. Just leave comments in the comment section. Oh, I forgot about the owl. The um, Creative Haven Dover owl. And oh, steampunk fashions. I've got quite a bit of these ones. These are also Dover, but these are um, more oriented for children. But I put these in the um, adult because I love these books. I've got the Sun, Moon, and Stars coloring book. And the reason is I just like the bigger pictures. I don't like the tight stuff. And I'll show you an example. A book I hate. The Owls. And I did start two pictures on this one. The reason I did this one is because there is a Spot right here somewhere you can't see it now and then I start on this one I think I used the micro refine on this one and the third ones on this one I think that's what I did yeah because you know what I didn't realize that I did I wrote third one on there next creative haven is this steampunk, steampunk design it is different than the other steampunk because one's fashion one's fashion and one's design and that one actually should be there. The next few are from, what are these from? Design Originals. My sister gave me this, the um, Day of the Dead for Christmas, because she knows I love skulls. Skulls and peacocks. What a combo. This came in a three set from Joann's, and I used the 60% off coupon. And, yep, it was um, the folk art. Nature mandalas and coloring techniques, and I think there were some postcards that came with it. This one came from Tuesday morning. It's just sugar skulls because I love my skulls. You'll see a lot of Day of the Dead in just a minute. Aha! Uh -huh. Another Day of the Dead. My cousin got this for me for my birthday. She got several coloring books for me for my birthday. She got this one for me for Christmas. Oh, these two came from Amazon. I don't know if they sell them anywhere else, but Amazon is the only place I've seen them. And they're from Blue Star. And this, the one from um, Amazon is by Marty Noble, and it's from Skyhorse Publishing. And moving right along, this is a color magazine. I just picked this up last week, but I saw it. Our, I don't think Walmart has it anymore, but it says display until July 5th so you may be 
you may still be able to find it. <clears throat> this is a Kappa book. So a lot of these pictures in this magazine are the same pictures that are in the Dollar Tree books. And I'm trying to find one. <coughs> and <coughs> I can't seem to find one. Especially this one. I've seen a lot duplicated. Duplicated. I wish I'd known that. I probably wouldn't have bought this one. These two books I got at Walmart, and they're from Crazy Art. And they weren't expensive, and I don't remember the price on them. But this one is, I think I'm going to use gel pens on this one, because this is kind of tight. And this one is Magical Garden. I just absolutely love the pictures. Yes, so. This is my first coloring book, and I do not like it. It is the newsprint. It is single-sided, but... I just don't like the pictures. I think like that. You can't even tell what that is. And I've colored in one page. I think I'm gonna sell it in a yard sale. This my sister gave me, and this these are the books I do not like. She tried coloring. She paid. It was $14.99 from Adams Media, but I'm gonna sh let me find an example of. Are you? You've got to be kidding, right? These I had forever, and I got them at um, Books A Million, and they weren't really marketed as adult coloring books. It's right before the craze hit, and it's from Igloo, and there's flowers, landscapes, natural patterns, animals, and nature. Okay. I bought this so I could put it in my bag. I think it was a little pricey. It was $4.99. And then I found out all these, like, for example, this picture, you can find it in a lot of generic coloring books. And then I found this book at Target for $3. And if I had bought this book before I had bought this one, I would not have gotten this book. And I have colored one page in here. Well, I'm in the middle of coloring one page. So, yeah. The rest of these books are, um, the giveaways. Ow, ow. I have... I own every one of these except for the the one from um that was clearance from Walmart. I got a duplicate of the peacock design. I purposely bought this one because it was on clearance at Walmart for two fifty. I paid full price. The animals Dollar Tree, the Take Flight Dollar Tree, Good Outdoor Dollar Tree. Creative Whitening Dollar Tree. And these I purposely bought for the giveaway. The the ones I just showed you I bought for me to keep because I thought I was going I was going to like them, but I do like them, but I don't need two of them because I've got so many. I bought these because these are just so good quality, and I wish I could have afforded all eight of them, but I I just couldn't. So. And then, also in the giveaway, is this set of pencils, and the chopping board from the Dollar Tree, which I've mentioned, yes, what it looks like. And the giveaway is going to come about when I get a certain amount of subscribers, and I'm not even close. So, like, share, subscribe. Let's go over the children's books real quick. Most of these came from the Dollar Tree. I got several Lisa Franks. I even got two of the same. It's these two. The ones with the rock rocker girls. And some of these pictures in the books are the same. I got the one with the kitties in the shoe. The one with the colorful leopards. That is so typical Lisa Frank. Another typical Lisa Frank. The flying pegasus. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I got another Alice book. Alice in Wonderland. This is definitely Disney. Winnie the Pooh. Mickey Mouse. It's a ha Halloween one. And, um, 
these I bought at the um, Dollar Tree also, and these are all um, Crayolas. These two have stickers, Doc McStuffins, and Sophia the Great, Sophia the First. I actually finally saw Sophia the First at the doctor's office, and it was so cute. I wish I felt better to actually really enjoy it. I have to watch Doc McStuffins because I think this little guy is so cute. But I have a feeling he's going to be annoying because if I... My nutcracker just jumped again. Anyway, there's here's two more Crayolas. There's a third one. I did not like it. This is Puppies and Kitties and this one's um, Princess for a Day. And I got some strawberry shortcakes. Two of them. And this is the generic one that the Dollar Tree used to have is the Wizards until they stepped up their game. I don't know where the Raggedy Ann one came from. I'm sure it's the Dollar Tree. A Hello Kitty. This is all, this, I think this one came from Walmart. I just got it because to draw the pictures. I think I'm probably going to give that away too. I'm probably going to give this away. This is another old Dollar Tree book. I am so glad that they stepped up their game. And now, now have the good stuff. Would you stop it, Nutcrackers? Precious Moments. Petey Pirate Pals with Dollar Tree and another old pirate coloring book from the Dollar Tree. And we're almost we're down to the last stretch. The Mermaid's coloring book from the Dollar Tree. This one I bought for my um, cousin, my little second cousin. I thought it was the Little Mermaid, but it looks like Ariel, but it's not. It's not Disney. So I kept it for myself. Um, I have no idea where this came from. It was 60 cents, and I don't know what was on top of it. And it's all... Um, I think I got this at Books A Million. I think. It's a um, Lisa Frank book. It's a, yep, Lisa Frank um, Velvet Coloring book. You can see how much I've enjoyed it. Dollar Tree, of course. And you can go over to Walmart and pay $5 for these or $10 at Hobby Lobby. No joke. And then Dollar Tree. And that concludes... Oh, I do have these. Two of these kits. And these were dollar at Walmart. Well, that's it for all my coloring books and my crayons and markers and pencils. It's definitely not all my color supplies. If I had put all my color supplies, this video would have been in another 35, 45 minutes. How do I know? Because that was the original taping of it. I redid it without the other color supplies. So... I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Share, subscribe, so I can have my giveaway. I do plan to add some type of gel pens, either from Walmart's Elmer's section in the scrapbook section or the um, Big Lots gel pens. If you want to see a flip through through any of the books, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll be happy to do one, and I hope you enjoyed it, and happy coloring, and thanks for stopping by, and see you next time.